Hello! Uh, welcome to another set of videos from Blazing Fiddles. We're going to be showing you some new tunes from the brand new album which is going to be out in August this year. Um, it's going to be officially released in Bewley in October at Blazing and Bewley. But for now we wanted to just make some little videos for you to, to learn some of the tunes that we've been playing on this new album. Um, and the nice thing about it is we've all learned some new tunes. It's not really an album of, of music that we've played for years or tunes that we've all known for years. A lot of it is brand new things, either that we've written ourselves or we've learned from each other. So it's really nice. So this tune is um, a Purst, which I learned from Rua Macmillan, who of course is in Blazing Fiddles. Uh, Rua is from Nairn and a lot of his family are from the Western Isles. So he plays a lot of um, Highland tunes um, and push the Bale. So this is a little reel. Um, it's a Gaelic title, so I'll let you just refer to the spelling at the bottom of the stage, uh, of this page, rather. And you can see how it's spelt. And if you know anyone that speaks Gaelic, you'll be able to hear how it's pronounced. So I'm going to play it through for you. And as I said, this is going to be on the new album, so in a very short while, you'll be able to hear it. So, anyway, so this is this is how the tune goes. It's got two parts. So that's it, um, two parts through. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you the first part on, on its own um, and we'll just go through that slowly when I reconnect my shoulder rest. Um, right. Okay, so the first section um, goes like this. It's got a wee upbeat with our G natural. The melody itself is quite straightforward. Because it's a pushed and it's a real, you want to make sure that all the notes are really nice and clear and clean sounding. So in order to do that, um, I try and not use too much bow so you get the string crossing really nice and crisp. Kind of idea. Um, bowing wise, um, I'm always trying to play my down beats on a down bow. So you can vary the bowing, but that's one thing to keep in mind just to sometimes just check on that and make sure. That if most of the time your downbeats are landing on a down bow, it kind of helps. And it also helps the rhythm, especially if you're playing it unaccompanied. Um, it's, it's really nice to make sure that down is nice and strong. So, the second half...
just like that. So again, nice, even string crossing, not using too much bow um, or else it starts to get a little bit messy. Um, it's nice to keep it nice and short. So when it, the tune's faster, it sounds really um, uh, tidy, quite neat. So. so I'll play the whole tune a wee bit quicker and you can hear how that works. on that D. And just in addition to that, I'm putting in a little open A grace note. Instead of going straight for the B. Just a couple of ways just to make it a little more, um, well, a little easier to play and a little more straightforward. So just working on the string crossing aspect of it um, and keeping the bows nice and short. Um, sometimes being up near the top of the bow is quite good for that. The same way it is good for burls, keeps them nice and uh, kind of quite tight sounding. through yourself and add in those ideas. Um, so we kind of covered string crossing, um, making sure our downbeats are really strong, um, a couple of little grace notes in there. Um, I showed you one in the second half with that open A. There's one that's nice in the first half. I'll show you that. Now that's two Bs. It's nice to separate that with a little C in the middle. So just keep your first finger down and add that little C in the middle. Um, so again, it's just another way of, of uh, ornamenting the tune. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy playing it um, and look out for it on the new album due out this summer. <laughs>